Wanna play Fortnite? Oh, why? Because I'm all out of money! All out of... What if you wanted to play your favorite game, but you didn't have any money? Can you take a free donated computer and turn it into your Fortnite gaming PC? Let's find out. Here it is in all its glory, a Dell XPS 410 2007 system, I believe. Core 2 Duo Windows Vista. This was a free computer that was given to me by a neighbor. It was actually this and a couple of older computers, but we don't want to make a video about every old computer, so this is an XPS, so it's a little more interesting. And I was thinking, after watching a few videos about people that were reminiscing about putting games on their parents or their grandmother's computer, what if you could take this 2007 computer that was free and have just one purpose in mind, make it run Fortnite. Not a major gaming PC, no major titles, just Fortnite. I don't actually play Fortnite, but that seems to be a popular title. I'm curious if it would run at all the way it is, or what would it take to upgrade it just with minimum requirements and spending the least amount of money possible. So let's take a look inside. That's a satisfying thing. Oh, it comes out right away. Now, this computer is very old, so let's see what we find inside. We have some DNA here, a mystery graphics card, a mystery hard drive, and mystery memory. Well, you can't really see anything, can you? So this generation of XPS uses the BTX style motherboard, so it's actually flipped around. It's on this side. So you can't really put another motherboard in there. Some people do conversions, but we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is just go ahead and, first of all, we're going to clean this. Try to install Fortnite. I'm not sure what the minimum requirements are. For that this probably won't work off the bat. Uh, that's not good. It's totally blocked, I think. So these systems are a little bit different. They take in all the air from the front. There's one front fan. And then it blows it through this humongous heatsink right here. So the fan's not actually on the heatsink, it's just sort of in front of it. And I remember seeing these years ago and I was thinking to myself, that's quite a cooling solution. It's actually probably better than some of the cheap coolers that are out today. But uh, the plan here is to clean it. We're going to try and install a couple of free games, just something to test it out. See if this handles it. We don't... Oh, look. It's not even screwed on. It's just kind of like pressed on. So you can just move it. That's fine. 
but to probably end up changing this, but we're not going to go crazy. We're just going to put in something super cheap and just get it to the minimum ability to play Fortnite. So we'll try it this way. I don't know if that will work. This is interesting. Oh, that's the bracket for the... So this actually holds the GPU in place. A lot of the old SPSs had this. I'm not sure why it has to be in place, I guess maybe for shipping. I mean, it's a good idea. That holds that in place, so it doesn't move around. But I have, I believe, a 710 and a 730 on hand to try. And then the memory is DDR2. It's probably maxed out, I would think. We'll find out the specs once we turn it on. Supposedly it works, but I want to clean it first. And for the storage, I'm not going to put an SSD or anything. At first, I'm just going to try and install it on the hard drive. And the point of this is just to see what we can get done for basically free. Because the graphics cards, even the other old ones that I have, were, were free. So, super budget. And just one goal in mind, just to run Fortnite. I don't even know how to play Fortnite, but I guess we'll find out. And then uh, once we clean it up and boot it up, we'll get the actual specs. Just a tip here, most of you know this, but in case you don't, if you pick up an old Dell like this and you want to see the specs before you actually turn it on, or let's say you're buying it from someone, or you see one of these at a yard sale or a Goodwill, the service tag is right here. If you look up Dell service tag on Google, you'll be linked to a site that lets you type in the service tag and it will give you all the specs. Every service tag tells you exactly what it came with. Unless somebody changed parts later, but nine times out of 10, it'll be exactly what's inside.